Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show you 2024 generation Mitsubishi ASX first look exterior and interior in review, and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Next Generation 2024 Mitsubishi ASX Upgrade Mitsubishi recently announced the launch of its new 2024 ASX model. The ASX is the successor to the 2023 version, which was a rebadged Renault Captur and has undergone four facelifts in 12 years. It will be sold in countries outside of ASEAN and is expected to include an electrified variant. The Mitsubishi ASX is also known as the RVR in other markets, and is classified as a small SUV. The exterior of the vehicle features an elegant design, with a new design steering wheel, a large single-frame screen for instruments, LED headlights and daytime running lights, 16-inch steel wheels with hubcaps, power folding door mirrors, and a space saver spare wheel. 2024 Mitsubishi ASX Interior Design Inside, the vehicle includes an 8.0-inch infotainment touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, and AM-FM-Digital Radio. Additionally, the ASX has a higher-than-average reliability score and common faults are related to the braking system, which can cost around £200 on average to fix. The entry-level GS model comes with a manual transmission, priced at $23,990 before on-road costs or $26,240 with a CVT. The higher-end Exceed Auto model retails for $34,740 plus on-road costs. In the US, the ASX is known as the Outlander Sport, which is produced in Mitsubishi's Illinois plant for both the North American and export markets. Clearly based on the XFC small SUV concept shown at last October's Vietnam Motor Show, Mitsubishi Motors has issued a trio of images teasing an all-new compact SUV scheduled for production and set to debut at the Indonesia International Auto Show in August this year. Although a new Mitsubishi ASX, actually, a mildly made-over version of the Renault Captur, went on sale in Europe earlier this year, Australia continues to soldier on with a facelift, for the fourth time, version of the original ASX, which debuted way back in 2010. Despite its age, the ASX continues to find favor with Aussie buyers, standing as the sixth best-selling small SUV in the country year-to-date, behind segment leaders like the MG ZS and Mazda CX-30, but in front of relative newcomers like the Hyundai Kona, VW Tiroc, and even its Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Stablemate. Initially aimed at the ASEAN, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, market, the so far unnamed new Mitsubishi SUV has been tested and tuned in that region with a focus on handling rough surfaces or roads flooded by heavy rains. At the time of the XFC Concepts 2022 launch, Mitsubishi Motors President and CEO Takao Kato said, in the future, we plan to add an electrified variant to the lineup and to also roll it out in regions outside ASEAN. We hope to grow the model from a vehicle for the ASEAN market to a global strategic vehicle, making it a core model like the sales-leading expander crossover MPV," he said. Other than the inference that combustion and electrified variants will ultimately be offered, at this early stage other specification details are thin on the ground. That said, as per the XFC concept, expect high ground clearance and four drive modes, normal, wet, gravel and mud. And Mitsubishi has confirmed a collaboration with Yamaha Corporation on the new model's Dynamic Sound Yamaha Premium Audio System. The new SUV is part of an aggressive new product push detailed by Mitsubishi in its five-year strategic plan launched in March this year, including the next-gen Triton, a city-focused delicate mini-people mover, a hybrid version of the Expander MPV and the Renault Clio-based Colt. Beyond that a body-on-frame SUV is scheduled for 2025 in parallel with other five- and seven-seat SUVs co-developed with alliance partners Renault and Nissan. Then pure EVs including a UDA and a two-row SUV by 2028.